What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Mike. It's great to see your smiling faces once again. You look happy and healthy. And today, I get to show you our home YouTube studio. I've been waiting a while to do this, and now that you guys are part of the family, we've been around for a couple of years, and I wanted to show you where we film everything. Our reviews, unboxings, our commercials, our promos are all filmed in here. And we had to make some upgrades to the walls, to the desk, to the lighting, even the camera. And before I show you all this, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Grove Made. Grove Made designs and manufactures beautiful and awe-inspiring desk accessories. With Grove Made, you build your dream workspace so you can get your best work done. And as you can see, these Grove Made accessories can turn a boring workspace into an environment that inspires creativity. And these desk accessories are not only stunning, but functional as well. And I personally found with these Grove Made products, my office desk became more organized and even has that minimalist look, which I love. So when you buy your products from Grove Made, just know that your products are handcrafted by people that care about producing consistent and beautiful products. Like this desk shelf, this desk tray, this beautiful desk mat, and this titanium pen. So if you're looking for affordable desk accessories that can take your office to the next level, then make sure to check out Grove Made. All right, guys, let me show you. The first thing is the walls with these uh, acoustic panels on the walls. These are pretty simple to make. You can buy these on Amazon. And I think for all of these, I think I've got 50 of these. They pay less than 80 bucks. And behind these is cardboard right here. I picked this up at the local craft store. And those cardboard pieces were $4 for a really large to make one of these big panels here. So I had to make four of them and then had some extra small pieces. So I made these individuals. I just ended up nailing up there. And so for all these panels you see here, I probably paid less than 120 bucks. And when I was online looking for panels to fit this size, because there's windows behind this one and behind this one, they want like 150 bucks for one. So it'd been $300 and they were nice panels, but the shipping was an additional $225. So it'd been 525 plus tax <laughs> just for two panels. Yeah. It would look a bit nicer than this. It would look way nicer, but I'm not paying just for two panels, 550 bucks maybe. So I built this on the cheap and it sounds good in here. I clap my hand in here. If I clap it, there's no echo. It used to be a really bad echo in here, and there's still a small echo, don't get me wrong, but I still need to do some more panels uh, over here, uh, maybe on the ceiling as well. I'll do some uh, soundproofing up there as well, just to get rid of that, that, that echo. So anyways, if you wanna do this, I'll leave links in the description below so you can buy these. Anything in my office that I'm gonna show you, I'll leave a link in the description so you can buy these products, and I'll leave the pricing, it'll be here also. In the video, I'll have the price and the name and the make of everything that I have. So, all right, next thing we're gonna show you is the desk, 14 foot floating desk shelf. Pretty cool. It's actually all custom. I do have some holes in the back for some cable management, which is nice. I have four of them, two on this side and two for my wife's side. Her side is controlled chaos being nice about that, but you know, yeah, you know, it's control chaos. But over here we have, you know, a little more organization. And uh, so it's really nice and underneath here, still working on the wiring management down here in the back. I'm gonna get better at that eventually. That's always a work in progress. So, but there's a lot of under here of, uh, I probably have at least four surge protectors um, for more outlets in here. So. Anyways, this whole desk cost about $350 with wood and everything. Now the price of wood has gone up, obviously. I built this desk about a year, maybe a year ago. So the wood has gone up quite a bit. So just warning you on that. So, but yeah, this turned out really nice. There'll be a video link to this also, if you wanna know how to build this. All right, this is the chair I use. It's a gaming chair. I love it, it's comfortable. From a company called Fuquito. They sent this to me for a review. I do have a review and I'll leave a link right there also in the video for the link for the review. It's super comfortable. It's got these great 3D armrests that go up and down this way. Even go back and forth like that. Really nice. The padding's really comfortable. I love it. 
And um, this is really nice. 269, I think is the price for this, the price point. So I'll leave a link also in the description for this as well. Really nice though, real comfortable. All right, down below is my, is my PC. I made this myself. I'll have a link in the description with all the parts uh, in this PC. And also in the video, I'll show you have a list of everything that's in this PC. It's a custom made. It works pretty well. It's got a 1660 Ti GPU. I want to get a 3080 eventually. That's my goal, but they're super expensive, so I'm gonna have to wait on that. But it does the trick. It does get hot under here though. I gotta find a way to keep it a little cooler, but it does get a little hot in here. And then up top we have two monitors connected, which I love having two monitors. And I even have my Surface Pro 3 as well, do extra stuff here. When I'm over here, I can multitask and I have my Surface Pro 3. And I have a link also in the description where you can buy something like this as well. Um, also, I have Rocket speakers back here as well. Really nice, and they're not too expensive. I forgot what I paid for these, but I'll put a link in the description and everything so you'll have the, the price for those. Also is my Blue Yeti microphone. I use this as well for all of my voiceover work on videos, and it works really well. I love it. Uh, it's easy to use, has a great sound, that's for sure. I'll be doing a, a video soon as well for this. Let me show you guys what this is here for this it's a podcast podcasting microphone kit i'll be doing a review on this probably in the next week or two i'll be testing it out and i'll probably give this away in about a month or two for christmas to one of you guys so keep an eye on this this is pretty cool so all right next is my camera this is the sony a7 III. i love this camera this camera is my favorite camera i've never had a camera this nice before i've always had kind of a cheap camera and this is a nice mid-range camera. It's 4K, it's just, it's beautiful, I love it. And all the videos I've made lately over the last, I don't know, maybe 12 to 15 videos have had this mostly in here. Now I do also film with my Samsung S10, which is I'm filming right now on a, uh, on a gimbal, a DJI Mimo gimbal. But uh, this is really, really, I love it. It's great for pictures too, so. I recommend that and I also have this in the description where you can buy this as well. Also in the back here you can see the DJI Mavic Mini, the original. Uh, here's the controller and down below is his little drone, the little guy. I do a lot of work with this drone inside the house and outside. You'll see a lot of footage, a lot of B-roll I shoot with this. It's super easy to use. I've only crashed it a couple of times, but uh, it's really nice. I like that a lot. And if you're wondering about my audio control, it's right here, this is audio control, and this is what I use for my sound card for my computer. Um, so this is pretty standard. It's probably, this is probably like 150 bucks, maybe $180. And there'll be a link also in the description if you, to, if you want to buy that. There's nicer ones out there. There's a lot more expensive ones out there. This is more of a mid-range audio card, but it does the trick. You listen to my videos, um, and you'll know it's pretty solid. It does a good job. And of course, I do want to mention one more time, these Grove made accessories for your desk. Like the titanium pen, this is beautiful. It's gorgeous, it's got a really neat holder here. It's heavy too, it's like a weight. So it's like a paperweight combination. Great for holding the pen, it's like a piece of art. And it writes really smooth as well. Also got a tray here to hold a bunch of your stuff. It's really nice, it's made out of cork. It feels like this is made out of cork. I love it. It's got a neat smell to it, it's got a great feel. Everything that feels handmade. The desk shelf is the same way with the cork. I believe this is cork. It's beautiful, it's handmade, it's gorgeous. Really, really high quality. This mat is beautiful. I picked navy blue because I want some contrasting color with my desk. Everything here looks good, has that white, maybe that pine look. And I wanted something to contrast it. So I went with, I was gonna go black, but I decided to go navy blue. And I'm really glad I did. It's really beautiful. And it feels great. You know, you put your arm down here a lot. If you're doing this, you know, there's no sweating. Um, and also you can definitely the mouse is really nice on here. See, it's smooth. And over here, I do have an eight port PoE switch by Ingenious. I love having a, a managed switch. I can totally manage this, make VLANs. It's really neat, I can shut ports off, turn them on. Also behind there is my NAS. It's a Western Digital two terabyte that has movies, music, everything's on there. So that's attached to my, to my switch. So that's really nice. And over here, the usual dot. I like to have that just to get weather updates. Also, if I get a package from Amazon, it'll tell me as well. It's pretty cool. Also, our printer, wireless printer, so I can do any, any printing really easily from my computer to here. 
Super simple, I love it. And one more thing down below is our five terabyte NAS as well. I have this connected to my computer. So we have a lot of movies on here that go to our Plex. So our Plex media server. So we have movies, TV shows, music, pictures, other you know home videos and things are on here. It's five terabytes, it's a lot, but uh, also in this as well, I have my YouTube videos as well for backup. So I want to show you that as well. And this is the anti-static mat, so don't worry by having this on the ground, it doesn't get any static. Oh, and one more thing when I do any gaming, my NVIDIA Shield controller. It's right here, so if I do my, want to do my gaming on Steam, I have that as well. And this is my DJI Osmo. This is the gimbal I'm using right now in my hand. I love it because it's super smooth. You don't get that jittery uh, movement. When it, with having a handheld camera, this is really nice for a, a, a cell phone. So I use this a lot, I'm using it right now. And also I have a backup camera right here. This is a Canon, I believe, T6, which is nice for photography. Not so good for video. I found that out, but this is actually really good. It's DSLR, it's really good for photography. The video, the, focus, the autofocus is not, not very good on it. And one more thing I wanna show you is the Elgato ring light. I use this a lot for vlogging and just all around lighting. It's really nice, it's got some great settings on it. There'll be a video right up top for that as well. Only downside to this ring light is I could not connect it to the app for my phone. And that's a big plus for this. Unfortunately, it would not work for me. I tried 20 different times. I found out on the review on the App Store that everybody had the same problem. So it's not just me, but it's still a good light. It's controlled with the buttons right here. It's still really solid. So I use that for all our videos as well. So, well guys, that's it. It's everything in our studio, everything we use to make the videos, the reviews, the unboxings, the promos, and the commercials. Anyways, guys, there'll be links to all this stuff in the, in the description below so you know where to buy this, how much it costs. We get the best deals, I promise you that. So guys, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure to give a thumbs up and share this video. And make sure to subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day.